Hey kids. So a lot of people have been asking me about this feature where the board balances upright. I call it flywheel mode, but uh, my son quickly corrected me that it's technically a reaction wheel. But anyway, I like flywheel better, so I called it that in the app. And um, the next version will let you guys do that too. In the past, I always used custom firmware for it, but uh, now, you will be able to just click here on the magic button that you may have already seen, but it's because somehow I accidentally left it in there or it wasn't supposed to show up. But you, some of you have seen it already. So basically, you lift your board, you put it in position. The pint is particularly finicky because it has this round bottom and may not balance so easily. Now you press the button once it's balanced. It has to be basically at a point where it almost balances on its own. That makes it easier. And then you press the flywheel mode button. And then it's supposed to just balance on its own. And as you can see, it works. And there are some parameters that you can change around, but the defaults should work fairly well. Now to turn it off, you just get it out of position and now it's no longer balancing. If you now bring it back into that same position, it should start again. But um, one other way to stop it is you press the foot pads and now you can ride it again. Oops. Come on. So that's it. And before you guys say that, uh, oh no, I have an Android and how do I do that? Because I don't have float control. All right. We'll connect. And now, as soon as the app UI shows up, which always takes a little while, but uh, gotta be patient. All right, here we go. It's coming, it's coming. I can feel it. Here we go, app UI. Now we click on it. Um, you can see now at the bottom the package version, float package version 1.1. And if you press controls, we got the magic flywheel mode. So same thing. You bring it up. And once the board is sort of ready to balance, you got to find a spot where it doesn't fall over to the side. Here we go. This seems pretty good. And press the on button. Nope. Oh, there we go. Okay. It worked. There we go. All right, this should be available in the package store soon, but we are still working on this. So I'm going to make the package available for manual install for anyone who wants to try it early and is not patient enough to wait for the package store to update. But um, Soon enough, it'll also be in the package store and you can easily install it just from your VESC app. There is one more feature I forgot to mention, and that is I did add this functionality also to the watch app. Let's see though, if it works. A little tricky. There we go. All right. A little hard to hold the GoPro and work with the watch, but it works. So, same idea, and uh, yeah, makes it really easy. And what's cool about it is if you turn your board off, it doesn't actually save any of those settings, so you can always default back to riding normally. Um, you don't have to worry about losing your settings or anything like that. 
it is all temporary and you either just hit the foot pad you know do this and now right off or you hit the off button in the app and uh, then you can just ride normally and it'll have it'll have your old settings so you don't lose any of it our trails got destroyed by the rain board is not waterproof. I didn't add the gasket back to the pint enclosure, but check out this crazy shit here. This is gonna collapse on me, I know it. All right, that's it for today. See you guys next time.